So when we talk about age, advanced maternal age is considered any female who's greater than 35 years of age. It's not so much age as it is the length of time that you've been trying to conceive. Uh, so for example, we consider uh, infertility to be defined as a couple who's been trying to conceive for one year's period of time, but they've been unsuccessful. We change that a little bit though as women age. So in women less than 35, we usually say if you've been trying for a year and you haven't been successful, that's the time in which you should seek help. On the other hand, if you're older than 35, then usually we recommend you seek help after you've been trying to conceive for a period of six months. Age has really a, a very profound effect on a, a patient's ability to conceive. Um, as a female uh, ages, not only does it become more difficult to conceive, but unfortunately her likelihood of having a miscarriage goes up dramatically, and also her likelihood of having a child with a birth defect, for example, something like Down syndrome, goes up dramatically. If you look at spontaneous conception rates, for example, someone in her early 30s who is having no problems conceiving, if in any given month she has appropriately timed intercourse, she probably has about a 15% or maybe even a 20% chance of conceiving in that cycle. On the other hand, if you look at a 40-year-old, uh, that individual in any given cycle probably has at best uh, a 5-8% to 8 chance of conceiving. Additionally, when you look at the risk of miscarriage, when a 30-year-old conceives, uh, her risk of miscarriage may be at best uh, 15-20%. to 20 When someone is 40 or so, uh, the risk of miscarriage may be as high as 35 to 40 percent. Well, the first option for any uh, couple which is experiencing infertility is to seek help, and that may initially be with your primary obstetrician gynecologist, or it may be with a specialist, a reproductive endocrinologist who specializes in the diagnosis and treatment of infertility.